that makes me an immigrant? So basically what that means is that for the last two decades, I have been stealing all your jobs. So. You have to go through an oath ceremony. And it's an incredibly creepy ceremony. I went with my mom, right? And there's a part of the ceremony where everybody stands up and they go, I solemnly swear to defend this nation. I'm standing in the back of the room going, why do you want my five foot two, 55 year old Indian mom to go fight a bunch of terrorists that you guys created? State of Indiana, once elected, an open Klansman as their governor. Yeah, do you guys know about this? No, his name's Ed Jackson. Back in the 20s, he ran on an open Klan ticket and won the governorship of the state of Indiana. Fuck. That must have been one hell of an inauguration. Probably the one and only inauguration done in all robes. There's no discourse in our society. It definitely doesn't teach you how to communicate with people that you disagree with. You know, go online with anybody that forms their opinions. Check out that comment section. It is a shit show of fire emojis and comments written in all caps. Alternating caps if you're dedicated to your hatred. <laughs> the Arawaks, by the way, are the first Native Americans that Christopher Columbus met on the island. And I'm gonna use that term very specifically, met. You can't discover shit that's already there. If that is the case, then in 2009, I discovered the Grand Canyon. <laughs> it is a beautiful hole, isn't it? Yeah, but I've been having a hell of a time convincing the state of Arizona to celebrate Christopher Columbus Day. They're just not adding it to the calendars. You can't keep doing this, man. You can't just keep bringing your tank to all the... Okay, your dick is on the table. It is on the table. You can't do that. It's unsanitary. You gotta get it off the table. Well, don't put it in Israel's mouth. Come on! <laughs>